Amen, 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 amen. This is Dr. Promise Solomon with Early Morning Declaration. So, they talked about Jabez being a child of sorrow. But again, when a child is born, the Bible says that children are heritage of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. It says, blessed is the man that has his quavers full of them. And so you just wonder that on some level, Jabez could not completely be a child of sorrow. There's something had to be good in him. But anyways, whatever did not let Jabez's life shine or be good or satisfactory, in case you are, you find yourself in that kind of situation, that there are things in your life or there are things that you're expecting, let's first talk about and declare for those things that are in your life that bring shame, that bring disappointment, that brings, you know, heartbreak, that bring sorrow. I pray that the fire of God will consume them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Because some things just make your life like an irony. You say, ah, but I thought you were a child of God. How come this is present in your life? Or I thought you were a child of God. How come you don't have this? Ah. So he says, my peace I leave unto you, not the way the world. But let's just say that you're a child of God and for whatever reason, you know, it says, come unto me, or you will labor and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Whatever is making you heavy laden, that is not making you be at rest, that is not making you be at peace. Aha! Uh-huh. It's a contradiction to the fact that you have Jesus Christ, who is the Prince of Peace. Aha! Uh-huh. Seems like irony. Abraham, meant father of many nations, and for 25 years was going around calling so calling himself, hello, my name is father of many nations. They are like, where are your children? They are, don't worry, they are coming. <laughs> For 25 years, the irony of it, that something should be missing in one's life. So whatever is missing in your life that is bringing shape, I pray that speedily God of the universe will fill those holes, will provide those things. Is it a spouse, a wife, a husband, a job, with health, whatever is missing in your life, Uh a house, a car, whatever it is, materially, emotionally, financially, otherwise that is missing in your life, I decree them that God will cause them to be speedy provision, that God will provide them speedily, God will send help to you speedily, that those things be provided, and that again, everything in your life that ought not to be there be uprooted in Jesus' name and consumed by fire. Because again, the irony of it is that God is a consuming fire. So if fire get, comes in touch with anything, it should consume it. If it's something that can burn completely, even metal burns to an extent or melts at least after exposure to, 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 to fire for a long time or to a high degree. Uh-huh. So again, God is a consuming fire, but he's the one who is able to what? To, to come to Moses in a bush and the fire is burning. But the bush is not consumed. In Nonjo Ogerio, sir. Ah, ah. So again, the irony and the contradiction. So anything that is making your life a contradiction or an irony, anything that is making your life less than adequate or less than sufficient, because if you are the child of the one who is the all-sufficient one, you should have an all-sufficiency. So I decree all-sufficiency to you. And I decree that, again, whatever is missing in your life, that is causing a heartache or makes you a short term that stick out uh, and says, Oh, people look at you and say that one. Uh, their life is great, except Naaman was a, 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 a wealthy, a great man, but he was a leper. So every leprosy situation, everything symbolic, we eliminate in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen.